Hey guys, and welcome to the video. We have an amazing new WordPress plugin called WP SharePoint, and I just wanted to make this video and show you guys all the awesome features we have here and how easy it is to implement these features into your post or your pages or anything like that. So from the get-go here, let me show you what we have first. First of all, we have Facebook buttons. We have a like button, we have a send button, and a subscribe button. And as you can see, we have different colors. We have a light version of each button, and we have a dark version of each button. And we also have buttons with numbers and without numbers, so it's very customizable. You scroll up a little bit here, we have Google Plus buttons. And you can see we have different sizes, we have horizontal, we have vertical, you know, we have with numbers, without numbers, the same thing, very customizable, whatever fits your profile and your theme the best. Also, tweet buttons, once again, horizontal, vertical, LinkedIn buttons, same thing, with or without the share amount. A little bit more, we have to add this button with a mouse over the share button. You have all kinds of different websites that you can share to, which is very helpful. And then, last but not least, it's very easy to embed a YouTube video with the click of a button. And I embedded this one because we're all very upset with the Manny Pacquiao loss. You know, we don't agree with that, so I figured I'd embed that one there. And these are very, very easy to use. And with just the click of a button, people can easily subscribe or like it or plus it or tweet it whatever you need they can do it with the click of a button okay now let me show you guys just how easy this is to put into your post or your web page so I'm going to head over to my dashboard here of my WordPress website and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to post and I'm going to add a new post and it's the same thing with pages add a new page you have the same option here now when you're down here in the edit box you see this button over here and you click on that a new menu pops up and this is where you create your buttons along the top here you will see we have Facebook Google Plus tweet button LinkedIn add this and YouTube now first you need to select which one you want to use obviously so for now we'll go with Facebook now you need to enter the URL now if you're going to use a like button or a send button you just want to put a URL to where you want to send them or what you want them to like for example you might you might want them to like your website you know so their friends can say you like the website but if you use a subscribe button that's a unique feature for Facebook and the subscribe button has to be your profile because that means they are subscribing to your profile for future updates okay so that needs to be your Facebook profile but for like and send it can be any URL that you want them to like or send to now for the color theme like I said we have light and dark whichever one you like best and then you gotta choose your button type here you get the like button only the like button plus the send button, the send button only, or the subscribe button. And once you choose that one, you can choose the layout style. You can have a standard, you can have a box count, or a button count. And then do you want to show friends' faces, true or false? So I'll say true. I got my like button, a light theme button style with the we'll do the box count, and we'll send them to Google.com, okay? And then all you have to do is click on insert and you'll see this code pop up here and that's fine now this is going to appear wherever you have the code at so if I put something after the code it's going to appear above this sentence so let's go ahead and publish this and see what that looks like okay so we're going to click on view post okay then we're going to scroll down here and there you have it. We have the like button, a light version with the box, and this is my post. And you can see it's above that sentence. If I put it down here somewhere, it'd be down there. And as you can see, 3.8 million people like Google.com. I thought a lot more like Google, but I guess not. So what we'll do is we'll head back here, and that's how easy that is to use. Now, for example, let's post something after my sentence. Let's go to Google Plus. Let's use Google.com once again. The URL that you want them to plus the layout standard, small, medium, or tall. I'll go with tall and show the plus count, true or false. Do you want to show how many people have plus one that yes or no? And we'll go with true and insert it. And there you go. Once again, you have the code in there. And just to finish it off, let's add a tweet button. Now, basically, all for this one, all you need to choose is horizontal, vertical, or no count. And that means, do you want the tweet amount, the show, next to it, above it, or not show it at all, just show the tweet button. And, you know, as you know me already, I like to show the count, because when people see a high amount, they tend to, in my opinion, my personal opinion, they tend to tweet it themselves, so they see a lot of people are tweeting it. So I like to show that, I'm going to insert that as well. And then we're going to update our page here. 
and then we're going to click on view post and see what that looks like okay let me scroll down here and as you can see no one has tweeted my page yet unfortunately I thought this was a pretty popular post I made but no one's tweeted it yet and 117,000 people have plus one google.com so I guess Facebook has more fans than Google itself has that's pretty interesting but as you can see that's how simple it is to use these buttons with the click of a button I am implementing these key features here to let my audience my readers spread the word on our website it's very simple to use and it goes the same way with let me go back to the dashboard here with the YouTube you just need to add your URL but make sure it's the full URL with the watch in there so I know the YouTube has the short URLs you don't want to use the short URLs it won't work right you need to use the full URL for the YouTube for the add this button you just need to pick smaller or box count with large and for the LinkedIn you just need to use the URL you want to share and then top right or no count okay very simple to use make sure you are in the visual button mode here when you click on it HTML will not work when you enter it and that's just how simple WP SharePoint is to use and I know that you guys are really gonna enjoy it it's a fantastic plugin